Praise the Lord. Somebody there, praise the Lord. If you're expecting divine solution, praise the Lord. I welcome everyone tonight in Jesus' name. All of us here on ground, divine solution has come. Power from heaven. All possibilities for you. And that solution you've been waiting for, this is your hour in Jesus' name. And for those online, I'm here specially for you. I want to get there to your room and get there to your sitting room, anywhere you are, for you to connect together. And then as you connect together with me here, divine solution in your life in Jesus' name. We well, thank the Lord tonight because of what he has started doing already. And I'm sure you know that God is here. His power is here. And his presence is here. And his glory is here. And because of his glory, because of his grace, and because our God can never fail. The same yesterday and today and forever. And that power is coming upon your life right there. A divine glory upon your life. Divine possibilities in your life. And any problem, every problem, whatever the name, everything will bow tonight. Under my feet. Say it for yourself. It will come under your feet in Jesus' name. Tonight, I'm going to read a story to you. And that story, I want you to personalize it. And as you personalize that story, all the goodness there, all the power there, all the supernatural things there, all the great miracles there will come upon you in Jesus' name. Let's have a word of prayer together. Father, we thank you today. We thank you because here is your plan. Here is your purpose, and here is your goal, your ideal. You brought us together so that divine solution can come to every one of our lives. And I'm asking tonight for everyone, without exception, here, there, everywhere, all the nations, everywhere people are looking up to you now. I pray that divine solution will come to everyone in Jesus' name. Salvation for everyone. Salvation for everyone. Healing for everyone. Deliverance for everyone. Miracle for everyone. Signs and wonders for everyone. Power from heaven for everyone tonight. In Jesus' name. Lord, you'll give solution to everyone. And no problem will stand. No problem will receive your power coming from heaven tonight in Jesus' name. Confirm miracle in every life. In Jesus' name I pray. Give me a divine solution. Amen. God bless you. You can sit down tonight. We're looking at the story in Mark chapter 9. And in Mark chapter 9, the story actually starts from verse 17, and it goes on to verse 27. Let me tell you the story. This man had been an only son. And you can see now, and this only son had a challenge, an epileptic challenge, a long-standing challenge. An incurable challenge. And the man had gone everywhere. Doing everything he could do. Like maybe you have done. You have gone everywhere. Here and there. And you are looking for solution. But he missed out one solution. He missed out the divine solution. But thank God his time came. And thank God your time has come. My time has come. Back to the story, he went everywhere, and then he heard about the disciples of Christ. And he felt 
That will solve my problem. And he went to the disciples. At that time, Christ had gone to the Mount of Transfiguration with three of his disciples, Peter, James, and John. And as this man brought the son to the nine disciples remaining, abiding behind, lo and behold, they prayed. They did everything they could do. There was no solution. And the man was disappointed. But he didn't go away. You will not be disappointed. Power from heaven will come upon your soul right there tonight in Jesus' name. And as Jesus appeared, he came to Jesus. He said, Lord, I brought my son to your disciples and they could not heal him. And Jesus then asked how long the problem had been. He said, from a child, maybe you were born with a problem. Born with a disease and born with an infirmity. Today, as we meet Christ, our Savior, our Lord, the great miracle worker, solution has come. Yeah. Salvation has come. Yeah. Deliverance has come. Power, the power that makes all things possible in your life has come today in Jesus' name. Yeah. And then the man said something. He said, Lord, if you can do anything, help us. And Jesus said unto him, if thou canst believe, if you believe tonight, that incredible problem will vanish away. That sin will be forgiven. And that yoke will be broken. And the power of God will be manifested in your life tonight in Jesus' name. On the singular word, on the solitary word, believe. If thou can believe, all things are possible. How many things are possible in your life tonight? I said, how many things are possible tonight? All things. While you are there. And the name of Jesus Christ is mentioned from here. Anywhere you are, as you connect with that name, the name above all names, the mountain moving name, the power exhibiting name, and the wonder walking name, and the name that subdues and subjects everything under his authority, that name tonight will take your problem away. You're free. I said you're free. And so the Lord said, if thou canst believe, all things are possible to him who believes. And then the man said, Lord, I believe. That's all the Lord is waiting for tonight. If you believe that God who created heaven and earth and the God who is able to save the vilest of sinners, and the God who is able to heal every sickness, every infirmity. If you just say tonight, I believe, power will come to your life. And it is that faith that brings divine solution to every problem you have brought tonight, and the Lord is going to set you free. I believe. Say, I believe. I believe. Say it out, I believe. I believe. It is done in Jesus' name. Yeah. On the grounds that you believe. And on the grounds that you know that Christ will do. And can do all things in your life. I bring the message to you tonight. Manifesting faith for your divine solution. That's all. Faith, I believe. Yes, I trust. Yes, I have confidence. I know that God cannot miss it. Nothing is impossible with God. And the moment you say, yes, here is my faith. The faith that catches the miracle. Manifesting faith for your divine solution. And tonight, there are three things we're talking about. Number one is the previous failure. Number two is the present faith. And number three is the personal 
facts. Number one, I'm talking about the precious fa uh, failure, the previous failure without divine solution. Previous failure without divine solution. There's a verse here that I want to make you know, make you understand. It's in Mark chapter 9, verse 17. Mark chapter 9, verse 17. It says, and one of the multitudes answered and said, Master, I have brought unto thee my son, which has a dumb spirit. Look at verse 18. If you have a Bible there, if not just listen, and wheresoever he taketh him, he cheereth him. That he is the dumb spirit, the unappeasable spirit. The spirit that will not let go, I will not let that boy go. He said, that spirit cheers him, wanting to tear him apart and wanting to destroy him. And he foameth and gnashes with his teeth and pineth away. Look at this. And I spake and I came and I requested from thy disciples that they should cast him out, and then it says, and they could not, and they could not. I want you to underline that in your Bible. That's the previous failure of that man and the previous failure of that boy to get any solution to the problem. And the failure of the disciples, it tells us something. Number one, religion fails to give us the divine solution. Divine solution cannot come to religion. It might be a good religion, a beautiful religion, a long-standing religion, and the kind of ancient religion, and you're devoted to that religion. Religion by itself cannot grant you divine solution. Actually, the children of Israel, they were as religious as any religious man or religious woman could be. As a nation, they were religious. They were coming from the land of Egypt, and they passed through the wilderness, and now they came to this side, Canaan. They had battles to fight. And in, that, in the battle to fight, maybe in your life you have a battle to fight. And that battle, religion alone, cannot give you the victory. It says they sent them to the battlefield and Joshua was their leader. He was expecting that they will have the victory. Divine victory. Divine triumph. Divine power. He thought will come to them. But you know what? They failed. They were defeated. And the Bible actually said that Israel could not stand before their enemies. Enemies of progress. Enemies that stand before you. Enemies that will not allow you to have what the Lord has ordained for you. And then you feel, if I'm religious, if I wash with holy water, if I burn candles, if I bend before a personality, if I pray, if I use all these methods, I'll have the victory. They could not have the victory. And this part of the sentence, and they could not. It happens to everybody. It's not just religion. You see, there are people that have human power. And they try and they say the human power, all that surrounds them, will grant them the victory. And yet, all that human power, human prowess, and human ability, human knowledge cannot give divine solution. But you know, tonight, as to turn away from trying by yourself, and doing what you want to do by yourself. And you rely on the only one, the only name that gives us divine solution. Today, solution has come. Power from heaven has come. And a breakthrough has come for you in Jesus' name. It tells us about Ezekiah 
and he had a battle in Isaiah chapter 37, reading there from verse 3, you know what he said? He said, the children are come to birth. And yet it says, I could not bring forth. You come to a time in your life, a time in your progress in life. And you say, I'm going to bring forth. I'm going to issue forth. I'm going to climb up the mountain. And then your power fills you. And because everyone is like that, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And human power, human knowledge, human science, human ability, human effort will always fail. And you say, what am I going to do now? I praise God you are here tonight. You turn away from yourself and you turn to the Lord and power will come. Solution will come. Your salvation will come. Because it is only in that trust in the Lord. It is only in that power of the Lord. It is only in that ability and possibility flowing from heaven. That is what will give you all that you need today. It tells us in Isaiah chapter 46 and in verse 2. Here is the people, and they tried and tried and tried, and it said again, they could not. They stooped down as if with all our strength, with all our power, we'll pull up and we'll be able to get solution. And they bowed down, and then it said they gathered their strength all together, and they could not deliver the body. Maybe there's a body in your life. And you've tried all you could all the days of your life. All these past years, you said, I'll go there. I'll go there. I'll try that. I'll try that. Everything you have tried failed. Don't give up. Tonight is the night of your breakthrough. What you couldn't achieve in your own strength, what you couldn't achieve in your own power, the Lord has come tonight and divine solution has come to you in Jesus' name. Understand that no matter who you are, no matter where you are, and no matter what power you depend upon, anything on earth here, Everything on earth here will fail to give you the solution you're looking for. It's not here on earth. It comes from heaven. That's why God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever, that's you, whosoever, anywhere, whosoever, having anybody, whosoever, having any challenge, believes in him will not perish. I invite you to life tonight. I invite you to salvation tonight. I invite you to possibilities tonight. And possibilities will take place in your life tonight in Jesus' name. Human power will fail. Human intelligence will fail. Human possibilities will fail. Human connections will fail. Human power will fail. But there's a God in heaven. The God who loves you. And the God who has brought you here today. And the God who has brought a solution near unto you. The moment you believe, every failure of the past will be cancelled. Every impossibility of your life will be cancelled. And a new life, a new life in Christ, a new life through the Savior, a new life because you become a new creature. That new life will come unto you, and that solution you've been looking for, everything will be settled tonight in Jesus' name. The Word of God tells us that even those who are depending upon the law, Look at Romans, if you have a Bible there, Romans chapter 8 and verse 3. It said, what the law could not do, could not. You know, you have the law before you, Ten Commandments. I will try my best. 
one, two, three. I keep all those commandments. Four, five, six. I keep all those commandments. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I keep all the commandments. It doesn't bring solution. You might try for one hour. The next hour, you blow it. You might try for one day. And the next day, you have blown it. Because it is not a man. On edge. To have solution to the moral problem. The spiritual problem. Or the physical problem. Or the earthly problem. Or the heavenly problem. Or the eternal problem. It is not in man. It is as we come to Christ. What the law could not do. In that it was weak through the flesh. God sent in his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh. And for sin, condemned sin in the flesh. What you have not been able to accomplish by yourself. You link up together with the Lord tonight. You will. You'll be true. You'll have solution. I will have solution. In the connection with the one that came from heaven, the Lord Jesus Christ, the name above all names that the heavenly Father has given unto us, it is in him we have that divine solution tonight, and you will have it in Jesus' name. There's a serious sin here. You know, we're even talking about having problems in the world solved. And we could not if we don't have the one that brings the divine solution. And there are people that do not understand for us to make it on the final day. You know, over here now, to even solve a clear problem, we cannot without divine solution. And to have any breakthrough here, we cannot without divine solution. And to be able to even keep things together... Our families together, our lives together, our will together, our personality together, our health together, our provision together, to even keep anything together here on earth. We cannot accept there is the Lord because without me, you can do nothing. And now to even get to heaven, there is no one who by himself can get to that heaven without the divine Savior, without the Lord, without the one that came from heaven and he wants to take us to heaven. Are you going there? I said, are you going there? Without the Savior, how can you? Look at Hebrews chapter 3 verse 19. Hebrews chapter 3 verse 19 says, So we see that they could not, those are the two words again, they could not enter in because of unbelief. Because of unbelief. But remember, if thou canst only believe, all things are possible. How many things are possible tonight? Salvation is possible. Give me a good amen. amen. Healing is possible. Another amen. amen. Deliverance is possible. The divine solution. Amen. amen. And then having your name written in the book of life is possible tonight. Another amen. amen. Literally, all things in your life, all things in your family. All things in your business, all things anywhere you are, all things on your desires, all things on your prayer requests, all things, all joy, all peace, and all possibilities, all things are possible as you believe tonight. And I thank God I see you believing there. I said, I see you believing there. That means you are trusting the Lord, all things are possible. You have confidence in the Lord, all things are possible. You are connected with the Lord, all things are possible. You say, yes, I understand, by myself I am nothing. By myself I cannot save myself. By myself I cannot heal myself. By myself I cannot deliver myself. But then I come to the Lord and I trust him. I believe him. He died for me. He paid the price on the cross of Calvary. And because it was for me, he did that. I accept that tonight. I believe that tonight. I confess that tonight. Salvation will come to you. Forgiveness will come to you. 
Redemption will come to you. The power of the Lord will come to you right there, anywhere you are before me here in that congregation over there, that congregation over there online, alone by yourself, or is the whole family. I rejoice with you tonight. Divine solution has come for you. Number one, then, is the previous failure without divine solution. But you know, we're talking about, I believe, I trust, I confess, I accept, I have faith in the only one that can turn my life around. That me, brings me to point number two, and this is faith. When you say, I believe, that's faith. I trust, that's faith, I have confidence, that's faith, I know tonight my problems will go because of Christ who is going to take all the problems away, that's the faith, but it is personal faith, personal faith. You remember what the Lord said to that man, if thou, you in particular, as a person, as an individual, you say, I don't worry what other people do. They believe or they don't believe. I don't worry. I don't mind what other people, how other people act, whether they accept or they don't accept. It doesn't bother me whether the person by my side or the person behind me, whether is accepting, is believing, is confessing, is having confidence or not, that doesn't bother me. Me as an individual, I believe and it is that personal faith that will bring a divine solution to your life and all diverse sicknesses all diseases all infirmities everything will vanish away am i there say amen point number two then personal faith over Diverse sicknesses. Your blind eyes miraculously will open tonight. You are lame. And you have not been able to walk for some time now. All it takes is a belief. And when you believe, your action will match what you believe. Faith and action. Action of faith will produce that healing, that deliverance in your life tonight in Jesus' name. Personal faith. Personal faith. The faith coming from your own heart. The faith born in your own mind. Your faith that you say, uh, why would I not believe? God is the creator of the heavens and the earth. Why will I not believe? Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Why will I not believe Jesus Christ, the Savior, the Healer, the Deliverer, the Redeemer, the same yesterday, today, and forever? Why will I not believe Jesus Christ who is able to heal all manner of sicknesses and all diseases? Why will I not believe? Because God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power and he went about doing good and healing all, not some, and healing all, not many, and healing all, not a few, and healing all, not only not a minority, and healing all, and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. And that Jesus is here tonight. And that Jesus is there by your side. And that Jesus is going to, is already there at the moment we mention his name. And then you trust and you believe and say, yes, Lord, that's for me. He will touch you. He will take that sickness away in Jesus' name. Incurable disease will vanish away. All those infirmities, everything will vanish away. And the night problem and the day's problem, everything will vanish away. Because divine solution of healing, divine solution of deliverance, and divine solution of breaking yoke, and divine solution of setting the captives free has come tonight. It will happen in your life. 
it will happen in my life. The moment I said, look at what that man said in uh, Mark chapter 9, verse 24, the man said, and straightway the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe, help thou mine unbelief. When I brought my son to your disciples and they could not heal him, I was already having unbelief, I was already thinking this will never be done, this child will keep on suffering and this spirit of dumbness, everything, the epilepsy will continue forever. When I brought him to the nine disciples and they could do nothing, unbelief was coming in, but now I see you face to face, Lord I believe. I see you face to face. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. And the moment that man said, I believe, Jesus did it. And the moment anyone says, Lord, I believe, the Lord will do it. Your life, the Lord will do it. Tonight, the Lord will do it. At this present time, present moment, the Lord will do it. And look at it, all the people that Jesus helped, all the people that Jesus ruled their problems away, there was one thing with them, common to everyone. They were of different backgrounds. They were of different nations. They were of different peculiarities. They were having different problems. But one thing came across everyone, all those people, and it is this, I believe. I believe. You remember Martha, the, the sister of Lazarus, the brother had died. And then Jesus showed up, and Jesus is showing up tonight. I didn't hear your amen. I didn't hear divine solution. Amen. When the Lord shows up in your life, in your family, right there where you are, online, everywhere, and the Lord shows up, divine solution will come. But he requests, he requires something from you. For you from the depth of your heart to say, I believe. And so Jesus appeared to Martha. And then he first of all said, or she said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But then said something that now I believe. If this had happened before, bad things would not have occurred. My brother would not have died. I would not have been suffering with this sickness. But now I believe. And that believing will bring solution to your life in Jesus' name. There was this man, he was traveling on the way. Reading the Bible, reading the prophet Isaiah. And then there was, this, there was something he had not got. He didn't have salvation. He didn't have forgiveness. He didn't have eternal life. He didn't have the joy of heaven upon his life. And then Philip showed up. And Philip said, Sir, do you understand what you are reading? He said, No, I cannot. No, I don't. And then he said, Come up to the chariot. And he came to the chariot. And then the place where he was reading was Isaiah, chapter 53. That Jesus came and took all our sin, all our guilt, all our helplessness. He took everything away. And that the moment we believe, is going to take the power of sin away. It's going to take the presence of sin away. It's going to take the pollution of sin away. And it's going to take all the pressure and the pull of sin away from our lives. And then they went on. And when they got to the river, the eunuch of Ethiopia said, Sir, here is water. What hinders me to be baptized? Well... When you hear the gospel and you believe that gospel and you accept that gospel and you know that it is for you, 
Then Philip said, if you believe with all your heart that Jesus is the Son of God, is the Savior, is the one that came to deliver us from what we could not deliver ourselves from. If you believe, thou mayest. And then the man said, I believe. Those are the words. That's what the Lord is waiting for tonight in your life. The moment you say, Jesus is Savior, Jesus is Lord, Jesus is Redeemer, and I, he didn't ask the people in the chariot, all the others, whether they believed or not, this is personal. And the moment you say tonight, personally, with all my heart, and with all my soul, I believe that Jesus is the Son of God and is my Savior and is the one that came to die for me. That power will work in your life and you will be saved. I didn't hear the amen. amen. Paul the apostle was on the sea in the boat in the ship. And there was a great storm. They had done everything they could do. And there was no calm. And their lives were in danger. It was like they were going to be buried in that watery grave. They were going to drown. And then the Lord sent an angel that appeared unto Paul. And he said, Paul, cheer up. Don't be afraid. Don't be dismayed. Don't panic. Don't worry. Because the Lord will save your life and the lives of all the people that sail with you. And then when he was talking to the people, he mentioned something significant. He said, I believe that it shall be as it was told me. Those are the two words the Lord is looking for. And it is the expression of your personal faith in the Lord. He is Savior, I believe. He is Healer, I believe. He is Deliverer, I believe. He is Redeemer, I believe. He is the one that solves every problem miraculously. I believe. And the moment you mention that personal faith, I believe your faith will go into action. It will deliver you. Tonight. I said tonight. And how do you manifest your faith? You know, somebody just sits down there and folds the hand and closes the eyes and does nothing. Now, how do you know he has confidence? When I say calm, if you believe me, you rise up and you're calm. When I say this has happened, if you believe, you'll accept and you confess that that has happened. It is your action, personal action, that shows you have personal faith in the Savior, personal faith in the healer, personal faith in the deliverer, when you hear that Jesus wants to save you now, he wants to forgive you now, he wants to take away your sin now, the moment you really believe, you hand over yourself, you surrender yourself completely, unreservedly unto the Lord because he is Savior. And now he becomes your personal Savior. And then he becomes as well your personal healer. Tonight, you are healed. Amen. Tonight, you are delivered. Amen. And tonight, you are set free. Amen. And as you believe that, you confess that with your mouth, and then uh, you have it in your heart. He moves you out of darkness, and he moves you to the light. He moves you out of your predicament, and he moves you into the solution on the basis that you have that personal faith in the Lord. I'm sure you believe. I said, I'm sure you believe. What are you there? I said, what are you there? And at the end of the message, I'm going to challenge you that will put action to your faith, and that faith with action will bring the appropriate results in your life in Jesus' name. Number one, previous failure. Without 
divine solution. And you don't want to continue like that, just trying and trying and trying. I'm trying my luck. I'll turn over a new leaf. I'll do my best. You know it does not work. Plus, uh, the previous failure without, plus, uh, without divine solution. Number two, you have a personal faith over diverse sicknesses. We're getting near. You'll soon be there in Jesus' name. And when you hear that final amen, you know it is there. The miracle of salvation is there. The miracle of healing is there. And the miracle of divine solution will be there in Jesus' name. Point number three now is the present fact. The present fact of the, from the divine Savior. Present fact. What's a fact? A fact is something real, something definite, something that your feeling cannot change. Let me give you an example. I'm feeling cold, I'm shivering, and there's a fact, two plus three equals five. Whatever you feel, however cold you are, however warm you are, that's a fact, your feeling cannot change that. That's a fact. If I throw something up, it will come down. That's a fact. Whether I'm short, I'm tall, I'm big, I'm lean, that's a fact. Your stature cannot change a fact. Well, here is a fact. If I have good legs, I can stand up and I can stand straight. Well, whether you believe it or not, whether another person accepts it or not, doesn't matter. That is a fact. There is a spiritual fact. And that spiritual fact has been announced by the Lord Jesus Christ. And when he announces a fact, that fact is a present fact. It's a fact that will be fulfilled Whatever you're feeling, it doesn't really matter. And whatever your stature, it doesn't really matter. And whatever your background, it doesn't really matter. And in fact, let me go ahead and say, whatever religion you believe in, doesn't really matter. Your religion, your knowledge, your ignorance, your power, your utterance, whatever, does not change a fact. Now, as I talk about the facts, these are things that the Lord himself had said. I'm coming back to Mark chapter 9. I'm reading from verse 25. When Jesus saw the people and they were running together, then Jesus rebuked the foul spirit, saying, Thou dumb and deaf spirit, come out of him and it came out immediately that's the fact when jesus says something and jesus tells a demon and jesus tells an evil spirit and jesus tells an evil power come out the fact is whatever you feel whatever you think whoever you are that evil spirit must come out and tonight I come with the name of Jesus. And tonight I come with the fact from Christ. And when I say that sickness, that epilepsy, that demonic problem, that yoke be broken, the fact is whatever you feel, that evil power will come out. And that incurable disease, when I, when I mention the name of Jesus, that evil spirit and that demonic problem and that infirmity, impossibility, it will become possible in Jesus' name. I was waiting for a good, good amen. Now, there was something Jesus said in Matthew chapter 19. In Matthew chapter 19, reading from verse 26, Jesus said, With men, this is impossible, but not with God, because with God, all things are possible. Isn't that a fact? This is impossible with man, but it's possible with God. Why? Because as high, higher, 
than the earth as heaven is, so is God higher than man. So is the power of God higher than the power of men. And so if there is something in your life, the sin you couldn't deal with and the sin you couldn't overcome with man, this is impossible, but not with God. For with God, tell me, all things, all things, all things are possible. Your salvation, somebody might say, that man has gone too far. He can never be saved. Saul of Tarsus has gone too far. He can never be saved. With man, this is impossible, but not with God, because with God, all things are possible. And I want to tell you a fact here tonight. You will be saved. Yeah. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And as you call on the name of the Lord tonight, and you say, yes, I know I'm a sinner, a terrible sinner. I know I'm a sinner. And men think I cannot be saved. I've gone too far, but I come to you tonight. And I know as I call on the name of the Lord, what appears impossible with men is possible today with God. I will be saved. Your salvation will come. Maybe there's an incurable disease. You've gone to this hospital. You've gone to that helper. You've gone to that healer. And you've gone everywhere asking for healing. you paid a lot of money. And you have been searching here and there. And lo and behold, you have not been healed. Here is the fact. Here is the fact. With men, human beings, with men, Human efforts with men, human power, this is impossible. But not with God, for with God all things are possible. And therefore the fact tonight, remember, the fact doesn't look at your feeling, doesn't look at your cold, your heart, your tall, your short, your man, your woman, your child, your adult. A fact is always a fact. And the fact is, what is impossible for man is possible with God. Divine solution will make everything possible. I said divine solution will make everything possible. It is like that in your life. Maybe you have tried and tried and you have prayed for something. And you as you prayed by yourself, no solution came. And it's, it appears before I have, because I have prayed, because I have fasted, because I have done this, I have done that, I have gone here, I have gone there, and solution has not come. You think maybe solution can never come. You must remember the nine disciples of Jesus, they had tried and tried and tried and they failed. And when Jesus came, what was impossible? For those nine disciples became possible when Christ came. And Christ has come. He has come to you right there. And he's going to touch your life right there. And even though you have prayed before, you have fasted before, you have gone to you know, some pilgrimage before, and what you are looking for had not happened, the fact is with men, this is impossible, but not with God, because with God, all things are possible. That's why Jesus said that tonight, whatsoever you desire, when you pray, believe that you have received, and it shall be yours. If you just have a grain of mustard seed fit there, not based on your feeling, the very fact that you have faith in the Almighty God that God cannot fail, that Jesus cannot fail, that the Word cannot fail, that everything Christ has given out as a fact in His Word will be fulfilled. As you believe that tonight, the fact will come through. Divine solution will come. Salvation will come. Healing will come. Deliverance will come. A miracle will come to your life in Jesus' name. There's something beautiful about the fact that Jesus mentioned. Let me just give you the word of the fact. Whosoever, whosoever, 
whosoever. That means you're there, you're there, anywhere you are, whosoever believeth in him will not perish. That sin will not destroy you. He'll forgive you. He'll set you free. He'll break the power of sin out of your life in Jesus' name. Whosoever, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever, that means, that's the fact, whosoever, however you feel there, and no matter where you're standing there, where you're sitting there, just understand the fact that cannot change the matter and the fact that is going to bring divine solution to your life even today. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved, shall be healed, shall be delivered, shall be set free. And the rope and the yoke that binds you, everything will be broken in Jesus' name. The fact of whosoever. Number two is the fact of wheresoever, wherever, wherever you are. Here at the purple ground, there is the location where you are. Wheresoever, wherever, whosoever, wheresoever you may be, and there in the other country, and there online, whosoever and whatsoever, whosoever, wheresoever, number three, it's whatsoever. Whatsoever you're asking tonight will be done. Whatsoever. Remember, it's a fact, it's a fact. Your feeling doesn't have anything to do with this. You're feeling strong or feeling weak or feeling powerless or whatever has nothing to do with this because it is whosoever, it is wherever, wheresoever, and it is whatsoever asking for salvation tonight, salvation has come. Whatsoever. Asking for healing tonight, healing has come. Whatsoever. Asking for deliverance tonight, whatsoever, deliverance has come. Asking for a breakthrough tonight, as we mentioned the name of Jesus, because it is whatsoever, and it is a fact that whatsoever breakthrough will be given to you tonight, in Jesus' name. You have a problem, child, and you are saying this child is a great problem for me and for our family. We we'll spent everything, and he is nothing better, and she is nothing better. Remember, it's whatsoever, whatsoever you present to the Lord tonight divine solution has come and that whatsoever problem will be solved in Jesus name I've been trying to climb this mountain and then get over and move over and yet that straight to climb the mountain and to get to the top of the peak and to achieve what I know God has created me for has been impossible. Remember whatsoever as you are asking tonight God is going to answer your prayer. And it is the present fact. It's not a fact of years ago you know what I'm talking about? 2 plus 3 equals 5. It's a fact, present fact. That was a fact yesterday. That was a fact 2,000 years ago. 2 plus 3 equals 5. That's going to be a fact tomorrow. This is a fact of whosoever, of wheresoever, and whatsoever you ask, any demand you are making, any prayer request you are making, uh, that the Lord has given us this fact that this fact will be realized tonight. It doesn't depend on time. It doesn't depend on the age. It doesn't depend on any other thing. Christ is still Christ wherever you are. And the word of God is still the word of God wherever you are. And the breakthrough is going to come to you wherever you are. The fact of faith and the fact of breakthrough and the fact of salvation and the fact of deliverance, healing and the fact of divine solution fulfilled in your life tonight in Jesus' name. If you believe, give the divine solution. Amen.
the previous failure, we're now going to go beyond the previous failure. All the previous failure, they're going to be swept away from your life tonight in Jesus' name. All those things will be of the past and that failure will not follow you out of this place tonight in Jesus' name. And then the personal faith, the personal faith, Lord, I believe. You want salvation? Lord, I believe. You want healing? Lord, I believe. You want deliverance? Lord, I believe. You want a breakthrough? Lord, I believe. And it is that personal faith that makes it possible in your life tonight in Jesus' name. And then the present fact is true with him. Present fact, it is true with her. Present fact, it is true with all. And the present fact, it is true with me. It is true with me. I said it is true with me. I said it is true with me. And whatsoever you ask, wherever you are, whosoever you are tonight, it is done in Jesus' name. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. The Lord wants to give you the first solution. The salvation, an important solution, the salvation. He wants to, all the things you couldn't do. I couldn't overcome the sin by myself. I try, I fail. I try, I fail. I try, I fail. But I know that Jesus is Savior. I know that Jesus will take my sins away. I know that Jesus died for me on the cross of Calvary. And whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. That salvation is coming to you right now. I can't hear your amen. Everywhere, everywhere, the guilt of sin will be taken away. Everywhere, the power of sin will be broken. Everywhere, there will be turning around in your life. Sin will go out and salvation will come in. Darkness will go out and light will come in. Impotency, impossibility will go out and potency, power, possibilities will come in. And your salvation will happen now. And so, as it's about, and eyes are closed, she want this divine solution of salvation. Left hand side, right in front of me, on the right over there, anywhere you are, in any congregation, any country, online, you know that the divine solution of salvation is presented to you now. Just raise up your hand where you are. You're saying, yes, Lord, I believe. Salvation is for me. I believe. Forgiveness is for me. I believe. What I could not do by myself, the Lord will bring that salvation, divine solution to me now. Lord, I believe. Wherever you are, just raise up your hand. Raise up your hand there. Don't waste time. This is an opportunity for you that you will forgive your sin. He will cleanse your soul. He will cleanse your life. And he will take the guilt and the condemnation away. And salvation, divine solution will come to you right now. Raise up that hand. God bless you there. God bless you there. As we are raising up your hand, stand up there. Stand up. And say, yes, Lord, it's me. It's me. I believe. I believe. I believe. Personal faith for your salvation. Lord, I believe you died for me to take away my sin. You died for me to clear all my doubts and all my guilt and all my condemnation away. Lord, I believe that personal faith. Tell the Lord right there when you're standing up, you believe that Jesus died for you. You believe that he's going to cancel all the condemnation, the punishment of your sin right now. You believe that Christ is going to bring you into his kingdom right now. Yes, Lord, I believe personal faith, personal faith, personal faith. I believe. Tell the Lord, tell the Lord. And then understand this is the present fact. Fact. A fact that your feeling cannot change. That whosoever 
shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Salvation has come. Tell the Lord right there. Remember whosoever, remember wheresoever, and remember whatsoever that salvation is available there. Open your mouth and tell the Lord, O oh Lord, I turn away from my sin. I repent of my sin. I'm sorry for all the bad things I've done. Even if I tried to turn over a new leaf, I cannot save myself. But I trust in you. And I believe you. Lord, I believe. And as you believe, the fact of your salvation will be confirmed right there. While you are standing up, let me pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for all these young and old men and women, boys and girls, who are surrendering their lives to the Lord Jesus right now. And as the personal faith, there's a present fact that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Let your salvation be theirs right now in Jesus' name. Say amen. amen. Let forgiveness come to them right now in Jesus' name. Amen. And let your spirit be a witness in every one of their hearts right now. They are saved in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we thank you for the confirmation. We know that the present faith, personal faith, and the present fact will take effect in every life and the salvation for everyone who has called, who has believed right now in Jesus' name. We thank you because we know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Keep on standing. Our counselors are there. They are come to you and they will chat with you a little. And those of us online, uh, you know, you've given your life to the Lord. Look at the screen. You'll see all the information you need there. Respond and let all the previous failure be something of the past that will not come again. And then your personal faith in the Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ is intact. And then the present fact of your salvation will be confirmed from heaven. Let all our counselors please quickly attend to all the brethren who are standing. If you have not been attended to by our counselors, please remain standing and call their attention as they pass by you. And they will give you the slip to fill. And please fill in the details so we can be of more help to you. We want to be in touch with you so we can be of more help to you. As you collect the slips, please fill in all the details, your name, your phone contact, your email, and all other details so that after this program, the Lord will use the brethren around you to still be of more spiritual blessing to your soul. Let's quickly do that. And after filling the form, please hand it over to the counselors nearest to you. And all of us online, please click the link that is being displayed and fill in the decision slip online so we can be in touch with you by the grace of god we'll be in touch with you we'll be in touch with you and be a blessing to you quickly let our counselors please get in touch with all of them if you finish your section please join other sections that are yet to finish don't go back to your seat until we have all finished look around you and see any other sector that I've not finished and join and assist to finish so we can finish, finish in good time. And all of us that are seated, please keep on praying. Pray and believe and prepare for divine solution tonight you will receive. I say you will receive. Let all of us keep on praying and keep on expecting the Man of God will be coming up again very soon with the anointing and power of the Lord to pray for us. 
Stay where you are. Don't go. It's, it's the time to pray. It's time to prepare. It's time to expect great, great solution, divine solution, miracle solution from heaven. You will receive your own, your own tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Counselors, please let's be fast. Let's finish quickly so we can go into the divine solution ministration. Let's all keep on praying, keep on expecting. Let's keep on believing, keep on waiting for the miracle power of God. Very soon, we're going to have the divine solution prayer administration. You will receive. Pray. Pray. Prepare. And be expectant. Counselors, please, let's be very fast. Let's attend to all the brethren that are surrendering themselves to the Lord quickly and hand over the slips back to the supervisors before we retire to our seats. A sector, are you true? Done. B. C. C, are you true? Let's be fast, please. Don't go yet. Please stay where you are and keep on praying. The program is not over and don't go until you receive your miracle. Pray. Pray that the Lord will visit you tonight. You have divine solution. Counselors, let's uh, be very fast. Let's speed up. Please indicate as you are done with your sector. Let's be sure. Sectors, leader, please. Those who are done, please join the others who are still having people to attend to. Quickly, let's work smartly, quickly, quickly. Identify where we still have some need and join them. Around the middle area, we still have some that have not been attended to. A is true. B, sector. B. Let's know if you are done, please. C. Are you true? D. D sector. E. Less E. Okay. F. F sector. Stay on. Let's hurry up, please. G. G, are you true? G.
H H done J J please check up let's indicate please Let's hurry up, let's hurry up, please. Let's all rise up now. It's time for divine solution ministration. God is coming with the anointing and power of the Lord. Get ready. You'll receive your miracle. A bigger amen. amen. Somebody shout amen. amen. Divine solution. Shout divine solution. divine solution. Healing is coming to you. Amen. Deliverance is coming to you. Amen. And the power of heaven will be manifested in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, manifesting faith for your divine solution. Manifesting faith. You forget the previous failure. You've tried before, you failed before, you fasted before, you've done whatever, and there was no solution. Today, solution has come. Yeah. Remember personal faith. The moment you say, I believe, you have no reason to doubt because God is still God. And with God, all things are possible. Your situation is possible with God. And your predicament can be rolled away by God. And your disease will be healed by God. Remember that present personal faith. And as you manifest that personal faith in the Lord, faith cannot fail. But you must put action to your faith. That whatever you were not able to do before, as you hear the final amen, you know that God who cannot fail, that God has touched your life, has touched your problem, and then you manifest that personal faith, it will be done in Jesus' name. And remember, the rain is a present fact the fact that whosoever there's no discrimination god is no respecter of persons you're blind he'll open your blind eyes you are lame you rise up and walk you have anything swollen in your body he'll take the swelling away whether the swelling is at the back or in the tummy or in the leg or in the head, with God all things are possible. That is the present fact. It will be done in your life in Jesus' name. You brought anyone deaf and dumb. The fact is God is going to set them free. And you brought anyone having mental problem. The fact is God is going to set that person free. And remember that fact cannot be changed by your feeling, by your stature. Whether you're a man, you're a woman. Whether you're in the crowd, you're alone by yourself. That fact is going to be fulfilled right now in Jesus' name. So if you have any problem, lay your hand where you have the problem. And then we're going to pray and the fact will be fulfilled in your life in Jesus' name. Wherever you are online, a miracle is coming your way now. In another country, any nation, a miracle is coming your way now. And there, or you're in the congregation here, you're going to have your miracle face to face in Jesus' name. It will be done. The moment you say, I believe, it is done. And after the final amen, you check up yourself. Power 
is already released upon your life. Raise up that hand and lay your hand in the place where you have the problem, a miracle coming to you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because we know with you all things are possible. What has been impossible for men in our lives, we know with you tonight, it is possible, it will be done in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, you touch everyone, turn everything around and bring that mighty supernatural divine solution, miracle solution to every problem represented here tonight and there everywhere in every nation in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, that insanity come out in Jesus' name. That yoke I command be broken in Jesus' name blind eyes, whether it's one eye blind or two eye blind or dim eyesight, however long has been there, the Lord touch you right now and open those blind eyes in Jesus name. Any swelling on the neck, at the back, in the tummy, on the leg, in the armpit, anywhere, that swelling I command you, come out in Jesus name. I pray that those broken bones will be mended now come together and be healed in Jesus name stroke paralysis I send the power of God upon your right there now rise up and walk in Jesus name I pray Lord for those who are deaf for dumb or both I pray you touch them now deaf spirit come out those spirits come out and lord i pray that you give them speech without any impediment a miracle without any limitation in jesus name incurable diseases like cancer i command that cancer be healed in jesus name tuberculosis be healed in jesus name and all those nightmares caused by evil power evil spirit be delivered in jesus name i pray now for everyone from the top of there to the tip of the toe every part of their body wherever they are in the hospital here on the ground so in any congregation any nation any house anywhere i send forth your power right now set them free in jesus name lord thank you thank you for healing thank you for deliverance Thank you for redemption. Thank you for divine solution. It is done in Jesus' name. Let there be confirmation everywhere now. In Jesus' name I pray. It is done. It is done. Check up yourself right there. Put action to your faith. Action to your faith. What you couldn't do before, do it now. The Lord has healed you. The Lord 